I just saw you on the TV news. You looked a little pasty. Did you get a lead? Yeah, straight to Albatross Prison. Do you know how I can get there? Ooh, Chief won't like that. He's closed the file on Rex's escape. What if the Chief didn't know? I don't know. I'll go ask him. No, wait. Look, is there a way of getting there without the Chief finding out? Okay, there's one way you can do it. First, you get on the ferry at the jetty behind the police station. And then? You don't tell the Chief about it! You... <sighs> Thanks, Frank. I'll see you later. Okay, good luck! And if you speak to Ellie, tell her I said hi! Hey! It ain't safe back there! No sweat. Bluffbeard? Chase McCain! Ah, it's been a long time. I saw you this morning. Ah, it's been six hours. What are you doing here? I decided on a change of career. 
I'm now captain of the ferry which takes rum coves and no good ne'er-do-wells over to Albatross Prison. Great, the ferry. Where is it? I sunk it. I don't suppose you could build a new one for me, could you? Hey, Ellie, do we have any super bricks out the back of the police station? I need to rebuild the ferry. Has Frank been driving it again? Surprisingly, no. Huh. Okay. Let me just update your scanning software again. Right. You should be able to use your communicator as a data scanner now. It'll show up any super bricks nearby. After I hang up, just tap the data scanner button on your communicator and follow the instructions. Thanks, Ellie. I can't help but feel I should be a pirate. I've got a voice after all. Oh, wait. I'm allergic to parrot feathers, aren't I? I reckon I'll be stuck in port for quite some time. Maybe I should take in an opera. No, not that one about Pentax. So many bad memories.
I think I'm gonna start wearing an eye patch. Can't be taken seriously as a captain in this town without one. You've saved my hide, and no mistake. Hop on board and we'll set sail for Albatross Prison. Uh, okay. You never know, we might even make it there. It's nice to see they take security so seriously. I guess I'll just let myself in and then track down Blue.
Hmm. Yo, policeman! You belong in the law court, not our basketball court! Hey, nice work, man. You be using the language real good. I sure am, too. If that's a basketball court, where's your basketball? A bunch of real mean bullies took it off us. They are not nice. If I get it back for you, will you let me in? We'll see. I ain't promising nothing. Oh, man, that's a double negative. You have let me down. Afternoon. Home time at last. Good evening. I'm not sure what's scarier, a bank robbery or a load of crowd. Well, I'll be... Not again. All right, put him up. I'm a victim of the system. I'm a victim of the system. 
I'm going straight. Oh, this ain't fair. Hey, are you blue? Mm. I've had better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. Rex Fury? That man owes me. For helping him escape? Oh, why would I do that? Rex was my biggest customer until he disappeared, <laughs> owing me for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? <clears throat> Speaking of which... Careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Sure, Blue! So how did Rex escape? Well, that's the question on everyone's lips. Except no one's allowed in his cell to find out. Not even the police. That's not right. But we both want to see Rex back in here. So I've got an idea. Get some gear from the cupboard in my cell. Then I'll call you with more information on this. That's a croissant. We aren't allowed phones in here. The phone's inside it. Put your number in. Go! Oh. <laughs> there. I hope this plan of yours works, Blue. Uh, are you free, man? No. No, I am not Freeman. His lawyers might be watching. What's the matter, Haywood? You don't like your new car? Car? <laughs> oh. Hey, you! They've got a great police force! Because it never caught me! Huh? Hey there. What? 